I'm Tony Kornheiser. I sneezed. You sneezed. It was a violent sneeze. You well, should have seen it, the other guy. It must guy. be violent. Yeah. Because a sneeze. You remember what happened on two last Tuesday? I was walking a dog yeah, about yeah, 5:30 in the morning, fall. and I slipped on black ice where I heard it. Right. And I must have cracked it then. It's the eighth rib on my left Ooh. side. But the sneeze. I, I went down on the ground like I was shot. I really, I it hurts so much. Just a quick, don't sneeze. Dog walker. Yeah. How we, about that? Yeah, we got one. Well, it's hard have, to get one at 5.30. There's 800 in your neighborhood, like Uber. Yeah. They're everywhere. I should put it on my phone. Welcome to PTI, boys and girls. I am back, baby. Yeah, good. In today's episode, the Rams advance, the Patriots do it again, and some Eagles reportedly have issues with Carson Wentz. But we begin today with the worst no call I have ever seen. The referees allowed Rams DB Nikhil Roby Coleman to commit clear pass interference on Saints receiver Tommy Lee Lewis. The result was that the Saints could not milk the clock and win on a last second field goal as everyone expected. Mark Maskey of the Washington Post reports the NFL will discuss at length making pass interference subject to instant replay review. Wilbon, this no call taints the Rams, doesn't it? It doesn't take the Rams, it taints the outcome of the game. You know, this in concert with the next game, and we'll get to that and talk about the errors there, the officiating was so incompetent that it, it bothers me. It, to me, it was the low point of the NFL. I don't mean in terms of policy or social issues. I mean just in terms of the competition on the field. Both results are tainted. And it doesn't mean that the team should... I'm not holding it against the teams, but the league can't get it right. Tony, the NFL is at a point yesterday, and it showcase events, where it can't even guarantee the integrity of the results. And that, to me, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm down on the NFL today and down on the whole process of what happened, because if you can't get this right, mm. then what the hell are we doing trusting your product? So this is two years in a row for the Saints, where they get bounced out of the playoff on some freakish thing. Last year was at their own hand. Yeah. Last year they made the worst defensive play I've ever seen against Minnesota, and they were out. They had nothing to do with this. This kid not only went helmet to helmet, made no play on the ball whatsoever. He wasn't whatsoever. even watching. It's two penalties. None. It's the so old you, face guarding yeah. and pass so interference. So my feeling is that, that you have to... These are the playoffs. This is what this is at 141 to go in the playoff. Yeah. This is the last two minutes yeah. of the playoff. That call is that non-call is so terrible. Now you know Roger Goodell, who yesterday was in Kansas City rooting against the Patriots. No, Roger Goodell has like the he was power. For Tom Brady, he has me. the power. He never roots for Tom Brady. Oh, sure he does. Rule 17, Section 2. The commissioner can take appropriate yeah, you corrective know measure. That's not gonna no, happen. No, it's not. But what so what do you do? Yeah, Tony. I, all we can do is express outrage. I mean, as it, it, sports go. I mean, this is not, you know, we don't have to take it to the streets. We can save that for the federal government being out In right baseball, now. they'd but, come back the next day, and they would play the last uh, two innings. Tony, you'd have to protest, and they never actually would do it. Roger Goodell's not going to do anything. How do you go to the opposing coach? How do you go to that owner? Let me tell you something. If this was Al Davis... If this was Jerry Jones, well, if they, this was Robert lawsuit, Kraft, lawsuit? the league would be, no, they would be afraid. And people would call the game and the situations differently because no. they would oh, not want to cross. Wait, 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 wait. I don't believe that I'm at not, all. I don't mean the officials on the field. Oh, okay. I mean the commissioner and his cronies would handle it differently if faced with an owner of consequence. The Saints are out because of this non-call. Yeah. It's unfair. Of course it it's is. It's unfair. It's preposterous. Tony lost in all of this, understandably, was a pretty darn good performance in difficult road circumstances by Jared Goff and the Rams. With Todd Gurley weirdly in and out of the lineup, Goff was able to complete 25 of 40 passes for 297 yards and a touchdown. And the Rams' defense, after giving up those 13 points early, gave up only 10 the rest of the way. So it's the fact that we have to talk about the officiating making us give short shrift to the Rams. So I wasn't here Friday because I was hurt. I would have picked the Rams. I would have picked the Rams. Now, I would have picked the Chiefs, too, so I wouldn't have had them both right, but I would have picked the Rams. I look at the Rams, and I think the Rams are a very good team. Of, the answer to the direct question is, of course, we're giving short shrift to the Rams, yeah. but we have to because of the overwhelmingness of this particular call. So, yes, the answer is yes. Yeah, and, and, and I thought that I, I picked the Saints, but I picked the Patriots because I always think the Patriots are going to win. You know that. And I'm going to pick them again when we get to that segment. But the Rams did play well. But, Tony, I, I'm not. I told you this morning on your podcast, this is not a day where I'm going to celebrate these games. I'm not. I because thought the games were great. The, 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 games, well, they were were, great. the games were 
as I said to you on your podcast, wildly entertaining. Yeah. They were flawed so seriously. They were egregiously badly officiated. They offend my sensibilities. I was in a place this morning. I was in a an perfect laboratory to, to get reaction to this. Two big city airports that had no affiliation with the games and weren't even the airports and cities of rivals, O'Hare and Washington Reagan. And the same reaction came up every time from people who were clearly football fans. Are you going to kill the NFL on PTI today? Well, you're going to. I'm doing well, it. Well, you're doing I the best you can. I didn't need to be egged on by then, but I'm just saying I have trouble going back and saying, oh, and this play was great for the Rams and they did a great job two here because they the got handed, right. gifted a game. Let me make two points here. The kicker that they have. Yeah, he was okay. great. Okay, from 48 and 57. From 57. And the one from 57 70. was right, right down the record middle. could have been. And the thing about the Rams is this. That's a 13-3 and three team that averaged 33 points a game. They were very, very good all season they were. long. They're a really good team. Jared Goff may not be Patrick Mahomes, but Jared Goff's a whole lot better than we thought he was three years ago. A whole lot better. Did good they, team. Did they earn their no. spot? In the, no. no, and you know what? I'm going to say, I wanna Mike, that up. and I don't want to go too long in this, I don't think the Saints are ever getting back. I don't oh, think Tony, Peyton and Breeze are ever, 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 not with those two, I wow. think this was it. Hope the New did. England Patriots, Ooh. get ready, everybody. Wilbon's going to launch. The New England Patriots are going to the Super Bowl for a third straight year in their fourth time in the last five years. Tom Brady's brilliance is unassailable, but there is so much attention to the Edelman muff call, the Brady roughing call, roughing the and the D Ford offsides call. Wilbon, you have railed against these calls yeah. that you believe benefited the no, Patriots. No, they did benefit the Patriots. Are you maybe over? It's the same no, question. Are no. you overlooking their greatness? No, I'm not overlooking their greatness. More than one thing can be true. The Patriots are great, and they got help. And it's not the first time. They got lots of help yesterday. And, and again, Tony, did, this, this, did the Patriots earn yesterday's win? No, they didn't. They've earned their place in NFL lore. Don't tell me if you brush. That's how hard Tom Brady got hit. Don't roughly, hit my back. Don't roughly, get my rib. Sleep, I forgot. That's the You'll side. You'll be on the DL. And you know what? Brady got hit that hard, and it was a penalty. That's an embarrassment. Let me just say this. The second Patriots and seven call. were gifted right, that was a victory not a third yesterday down call. That because they scored a touchdown in that possession in an overtime game. Tony, I was at an event that was as bad as this, and that was the Sacramento Kings game six. There. I knew you'd go you, you there. You know that your colleagues and your friends who cover that game think it was the most embarrassing moment in NBA modern history. This was every bit as embarrassing as the Saints win because they didn't earn it. You, you're letting a I great team it. off the hook. Here's, here's, I, I thought they earned it. I they thought Brady was it. sensational. They didn't earn anything. He's 41 years old and nobody touched him because he gets rid of the ball so Oh, quickly. they touched him. In the, and when they did touch him, greatest, he got 15 yards. It was the greatest fourth quarter I have ever seen in which 38, have been points, out there. 38 points were scored. Brady, I don't know why Andy Reid deferred Three. because he Three gave Brady rush. the ball and boom, he went right down the field, 7 nothing. Should have been 14 Three nothing, rush. except for a Daryl Bevel crazy dumb call. Was, I agree with all that. Right? So I that was terrible. That. In the overtime, he goes right down the field. Yes, Brady. He knows, He's great. That's right. He is great. He is great. In terms of, and you wrote this. And by the way, it was D4, shown to me on Twitter. D4, he was that's offside. a legit call. He was offside. That's a legit call. He's so offside. So on Twitter, because it's shown to me because I don't have Twitter. I don't subscribe to the Twitter. But on Twitter, you, you raised the question of an agenda here. I did. But Three Mike, calls in a row. Okay, Mike. Three calls in two series. Mike, all the owners hate the Patriots. The commissioner yeah. hates the Patriots. The commissioner is in Who Kansas City rooting against the Patriots. Who will bring a better number than the Patriots and Tom Brady? You know what the Los Angeles Rams are going to practice all week? When they cough, don't do it toward Brady. Put your hand over your mouth because you'll get 15. You know, you let can, me just you tell can you let something. this slide if you want. Put your hand up if you sneeze. You can sneeze. let it slide if you want. I, I think... I think Tom Brady and the Tom Patriots Brady's the greatest. Are We're not great. questioning that. Great. That call, that game yesterday was an embarrassment. Not to me. And you are, and to another word, the first game, because they didn't offend your sensibilities, no. the first game call you will rail against, but Tom Brady getting 15 for that. That's a bad that, call. It it's a led second to down. a touchdown. It's a second like, down. It's Tony, not a third down. Tony. Can we move on? No. Okay, you're going to keep I, saying I that. don't really want to move on because right. I, don't, I don't care about the Super Bowl. I'm going to tell you that right now. The most effective thing to uh, Patriots did Let me tell the producers, let's yesterday. kill the fifth story. Kill that. We're going right that. back We're to going this. Forget the fifth story. You know what the Patriots did great yesterday? They didn't get help from the Zebras from? It might have been keeping Mahomes off the field. The Patriots ran exactly twice as many plays as Kansas City. And, of course, in overtime, it was 13 to nothing with perhaps 13 plays to nothing with perhaps the league's MVP never setting foot on his home field. 
a lot of folks where I was watching was an airport. For the overtime rule, no, not in the airport. Overtime rule, change it so that each team gets the ball at least once. Are you in an uproar, at least for that? I will get to that question in a second. But I want to say, this is the last time anybody's beating Kansas City with Pat Mahomes. What he did in the second half of that game, he's the goods. Pat Mahomes well, is sounds the goods. Like Nobody's going to beat Dan Marino and the, and, the, and the Dolphins anymore. And he had the same That's year right. Mahomes just and I, had and, at 23. And you may be right or I may be right because okay. he looks great. He is great. Now, to answer this question, if you want to change the rule, I'm okay with it. But I like this rule. This is professional football where you play offense and defense. Agreed. There's got to be some benefit for winning the coin toss. There's, or else why have the coin toss? If you win it and you can stick it down somebody's throat yeah. for 80 yards, you do it. more power you to do it. it. And if you can't stop somebody, I have no sympathy for the Chiefs in that limited regard. I would just None. criticize the Chiefs in this way. When they went out there for the coin toss, they should have provided the coin because I'm not <laughs> sure it didn't have oh, heads right. on right. each side right. so for Brady. Yeah. So let me just get that in there. I don't care about the Chiefs. And you know I picked the Patriots how many weeks? A lot of I weeks. have a pool. More than I did. Every week More I picked the I Patriots. Did. More okay, than I this, did. This is unsafe. Stop somebody. Now, stop somebody. I'm okay with the yeah. rule as it is, but I will say this. I don't Heard want to call I don't want 55 No, 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 no. I got another one. What? Just play a quarter. Play the 15-minute quarter with all the rules as they are. Play an extra quarter. I think what the – I'm fine with that, but I think they'll say safety. I think they'll, they'll say safety. Hide behind point. safety. Don't care. Let's, uh, let's start right here. Wilmot's not going to participate in this as we no, look forward I'm to not. the Super Bowl. It'll be just me. Just cut it off. The ninth of such Super Bowl for Tom Brady in the 18 years he's been to start. Wilmot, I know you will refer to any odds I quote as junk. Total. But it is worth noting that the Rams immediately Stop. opened Please. as a one-point favorite. Please. And boom, enough money came yeah. in yeah. on the Patriots to make them a one-and-a-half-point favorite. So what are your initial thoughts on the game? The Patriots win. That's my only thought. They'll beat down the Rams and win easily. Now, take it away. Because I, really I actually, don't care. See, I think I really don't care because these know. two teams, based on yesterday's results, these two teams should not be in the. Will you make a pledge not to watch? No. Oh, okay. It's too bad. Oh. Um, I like the. I like to see the. I want to see the matchup of McVay and Belichick. I want to see the old master against the young kid because he's the only young kid who's put in that Belichick class. I want to see if the Rams' speed overwhelms the Patriots, and I want to see if Brady. Can do it again. And you know what I really think, honestly? What? I think this is it. I think nine and done for them. I, I just Why? can't. You do this every year. No, Matt. They're going to no. be in it next year. No. I'm going to remind no. you, you said this no. last year. This is it. This is did it. Did you say this last year? I did. Because of what Malcolm Butler. Talking about? And then Brady didn't show they're up for They're the OTAs. best team. Let's take a break. And they're going to get every Come team on. in the world. Several Eagles reportedly have reservations about Carson Wentz. 15 yards coughing on Tom Brady. Does Russell Westbrook have a good reason to be upset with Embiid? Is he the best quarterback you've ever seen? Brady? Yeah. I mean, it's right there with Montana. But you're going to watch. And right? Elway? You're going to watch, aren't you? I might play golf. I'll be in Arizona. When I might play the interruption is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, man. Mail time where you pick the issues. That's the company line anyway. Let me see what's first. Time. We pick the issues. What are the issues? What do you make of the Philly voice report regarding the mixed feelings some Eagles have about Carson Wentz? Well, the report, just to rehash a little bit, basically says that Carson Wentz is a self-absorbed, uh, uh, tilted balance of the field for his own favoritism issues kind of guy, and that not everybody likes this. And one teammate after another after another has come out basically on social media and said, that's a bunk, Johui. Yeah. Carson Wentz is our guy. And my take on this, Tony, is the Eagles better know whether there's something to this before they try to get rid of the backup quarterback. I place absolutely no regard in a story that is volcanic that kills somebody and only quotes anonymous sources, like lists no names whatsoever. Yeah. If you ask me, are there some Eagles who probably prefer Nick Foles? Sure. He took him to the Super Bowl, and if Alshon Jeffrey doesn't miss yeah. that ball, yeah. maybe they're He's back there again. But, I mean, I think that the Eagles themselves pick Carson Wentz as a superior guy. I don't know what else you're supposed to say about it. Eagles management better That's make better. sure yeah. that that report is not true before they trade Nick Foles, I'm just right? saying, I give it no But let him buy himself out. Because it, every single person in there... Comes out in favor of wins. Anonymous. Hard. The anonymous ones. You expect Kareem Hunt to play in the NFL this season? 
I don't know about this season, but he's 23 years old, and he's really good. And I think a lot of coaches are going to take the Matt Nagy Chicago Bears position, mm -hmm. which is they're not going to rule it out. I mean, there's video. It's hard to embrace this guy. There's video of him shoving and kicking a woman. Everybody's seen that. Yeah. But if the NFL wades in and gives a finite suspension, after which it says it's okay to sign him, I think people are going to sign him. He's in anger management now, which gives them the rationale to do it. I'm, gonna, I'm glad you covered all of that. I'm going to cover one part of this. Uh, having been all weekend in Chicago and yesterday watching the game in a community adjacent to where Hallis Hall is in Lake Forest. And the owner of the Bears, her name, her name is Virginia McCaskey. And if Virginia Granddaughter McCaskey, of George grand, Hallis? No, daughter, daughter of, of George, George Hallis. If Virginia McCaskey Mail was this. to say, and I have no idea where this is going, if she was to say, I want to have a conversation with this young man, and if I get the results I want, the we'll impression, sign I'll sign him. No one we'll say could word. question yeah. Virginia McCaskey. Should Russell Westbrook be upset with Joel Embiid for what happened Saturday night? No. I don't even get this. I mean, Westbrook and Embiid had some. I mean, they, you know, they were involved in a tough, close game. He took them out there. Hard foul we used to see in the Eastern Conference all the time. Not that OKC is there. But Westbrook, I will say this. He has been injured with guys fouling him or approaching him physically. I understand why he would be upset in general. He and Embiid, I don't understand yeah. beef there. Do I, don't really, I don't really care about this at this point. I will say about Russell Westbrook what I say all the time. No athlete I have ever seen plays with more anger or a bigger chip on his shoulder than Russell Westbrook. That's right. None Agreed. whatsoever. Agree. This is basketball. This is what happens. Embiid is a huge guy. He's huge. These a seven-foot guy. These By the way, happen. did you know the phrase that when, when, when Embiid said of Westbrook, eh, he's always in his feelings? No, you know I don't what know. that is? No, I have no idea. Apparently, that's a Drake lyric. Last okay. one. And so we I'm are... I'm not as familiar with Drake's oeuvre as perhaps I should be. His oeuvre? His oeuvre. Okay, then. Bigger deal, Duke winning or Michigan losing? The answer is Duke winning because nobody's going through a major conference undefeated. Michigan still has to play Iowa. They've got to play Maryland twice. They've got to play Michigan State twice. I mean, teams are going to get gonna two lose. three losses. Or five. You're, you're going to lose that. Duke was very impressive because Virginia's really, really good. Yeah. Okay? And Duke did not have its point guard, which enabled a lot of people to write them off. Stop. They won at home. Zion Williamson and R.J. Barrett combined for more points than Virginia had ever given up to two guys. Because they're going to the league. Deal. One, two. And so don't yep. tell me Duke winning's a big deal when they got the one and two in the draft and probably the one, the two, and the five. And Do the, you think Michigan's a bigger deal? Michigan's a bigger deal. Really? You're, we agree on, what? on what's going to happen. Michigan's going to lose five games yeah. in the conference. Three or four. They're going to anyway. go, third, when we play 20 now, they're going to go 15 and five in the conference. The bigger deal is, is, is Michigan losing. Duke was going to win that game. You weren't here Friday because you were holding yourself. I was hurt. I, that your I should have played her. You no. were holding? No, that, that's not my own. Okay. <laughs> Enough just, email. I'm just Let's bad. take one last break, but still to come. Boogie Cousins is back on the floor for the Warriors tonight. What should we expect? And is Chris Bryant of the Cubbies out of line for calling St. Louis boring? At the time, I was in my feelings. You were, you were in your feelings. On. Did you I know it was been, a Drake? No. I Lizzie might have been and Michael. In. Have you ever worked for Dr. Francis? Oh, yeah. He's okay. Just okay? Guess who just got reinstated? Happy time. People, happy 87th birthday, John Chaney. The Hall of Fame coach who spent much of his career at Temple was no stranger to controversy. Twice he almost got into fist fights with opposing coaches. Once with Jerry Gimmelstab at George Washington in 1984. That. Once with John Calipari yeah. when Cal was coaching at UMass in 94. These were actual near fist fights. People had to get in between them. I got to cover and got to know John Chaney, and it is an honor. I am grateful as a sports writer I had the opportunity to be around John Chaney as much as I did. Happy anniversary, Bob Kraft. On this day 25 years ago, Kraft bought the Patriots for a then NFL record $172 million. The Patriots are worth more than 10 times that now. No owner in the NFL has had an extended run of greatness like Kraft's Patriots. Everyone thinks their success is tied exclusively to Belichick and Brady, but Bill Parcells and Drew Bledsoe got them to a Super Bowl as well. It, Tony, now worth $3.8 billion, according really to Forbes. But what would they be worth if 
Brady and Belichick left at the same time. How about that value then? I still think the same. Okay. Heavy trail, Simona Halep, the number one seed, knocked out of the Australian Open by 37-year-old Serena Williams. It is ridiculous that Serena Williams, the best player in women's tennis, is the 16th seed. And it's ridiculous that they met in the round of 16. No number one seed should have to play Serena Williams in anything earlier than the semi. Amen to all that. 4.15 a.m. in the morning. Francis Tiafo, our man, taking on the doll. And I'll be we'll up at that, that time. Running out of show, we go to the big finish Let's do quickly. It. Manny Pacquiao beat Adrian Broner. Are you surprised? At 40 years old, I'm a little surprised. Now he wants to fight Money Mayweather. I don't know if I want to see that. Phil Mickelson finished second after leading for three rounds. How should he feel? Feel good. He threw a 60 on Thursday. And he beat him with a birdie on 18. Yeah. Chris Bryant called St. Louis boring. Yadier Molina called him a loser. Who looks better? We hate them. They hate us. Cardinals, Cubs, anyway. Doesn't matter. Warriors at Lakers tonight. What do you expect? I expect the Warriors to win and win handle. Lakers been I think the Warriors well. are great. Last one. Rockets and Ooh. Sixers tonight. How many for your boy James Harden? Jimmy Butler, Embiid out there playing defense. Under 40 for Harden. For you. Under. We're out of time. We'll try and do better the next time. And I'm Tony Kornheiser. Those are great hard hits. I'm still seeing you know, 38 maybe. I'm Mike Wilbon. Same time tomorrow, Knuckleheads. You can get the podcast on the ESPN app or Apple Podcast. Chris Duke, feeling better with the bruised rib. Thanks very Just much. Just don't, don't cough on him.